Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. Today on This Is Important. I was not stoked on the idea of a fake cock. Wilbur. Adam Devine, he dips behind islands. Yeah, that, our wives don't listen to this shit. Strap in. Pew, 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 pew. Oh. Oh, man, it's been a week. Hey, thank you guys for clicking in. Thank you guys for opening up those ears. And what a week it's been. Been. Oh, oh I need that. Who's I watching us on YouTube out there? Uh, <laughs> raise your hand, huh? Who's clicking subscribe? Who's hit who's smashing the like button? Drink ding that bell. I love I love TII Nation. It's always like um that they tell you they watch they listen to the podcast or watch the podcast like it's a secret. Mm-hmm. You know, they the people come up to me like, Hey, listen to the podcast. Hey, TII yep. Nation. Yep. And you're like, are you trying to fuck, dude? I know about no. all your shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know all your dirty secrets. Hey, do you guys think this is weird? Yeah, that's why. Out to dinner in Hawaii last night filming, and a dude comes up, a waiter, and he goes, oh, man. And I go, wait, you were in Hawaii last night? No, the, the last night of, of filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, final, final night. Mm, the last night. Okay, okay. 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 Final night. Thank you. I'm. S- uh, it's all good. Okay. Kyle, <laughs> the way you use words. Uh, <laughs> log. Just log. I got off. a lot of them um, on my shoulder. You know what I mean. That's right. Yeah. Um, dude, the waiter comes up and he's just like, "Oh man." I'm like, "Hey." He's like, "You're from uh, what's it called?" I'm like, "Uh." I'm. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna say workaholics, and he goes, "Netflix movie," and I go. Game over, man. He goes, Game over, man. I love that movie. Yes. What have you been, what have you been yeah. up to? And I was like, This is somebody who's only seen Game Over, man. Never yeah. saw Workaholics. That's kind of sick. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of people like that. Uh, there's a, there's people that they like Netflix is the only thing that they consume. I, I I've gotten that multiple times. So people that are like, but that just feels like people being like, oh, I'm getting it. A, I'm getting it a lot lately. Ted Danson from, uh, from Mr. Mayor, from Mr. Mayor, and they don't know about Cheers or, yeah, CSI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> CSI. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of uh, Game Over Man love lately. It must be in some kind of uh, cycle or something. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they're finally putting it on the front page. Yeah. When I well, we all know Netflix has their shit together compared to other streaming services. Yeah. T. We love Netflix. <laughs> Remember last year when I went to uh, throw out the first pitch at the A's game? Mm-hmm. And uh, when I was at, in the A's... Was that me and you together when we did it? No, no. When I went to Oakland. Oh, okay. Yes. I went to Oakland at the beginning of the season, and one of the pitchers for the A's, James Caprillion, he like took me aside, and he's like, dude, game over, man. I watch it every night before I go to bed. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's tight. Specifically, <laughs> Adam scene. I'm like, hell yeah. Adam scene. <laughs> Shout I'm out. Like, hell yeah, funniest dude. Scene. Funniest scene in the history of cinema. <laughs> yeah, it's also see his dick. <laughs> very well, very well constructed, Kai guy. Oh, come on. That's the writing, baby. Hey, oh, come on. I love this. You're right. You're right. I stand by that scene. People, I know I can't do it without it. <laughs> people, uh, uh, you know, the critics hated the movie. Uh, it's a but I think that that scene specifically is one of the funniest scenes that I've ever seen in a movie. Yeah, you know, it's mm-hmm. so fucking. I good. love it. And you also have to. I feel like our tolerance of seeing male penis is higher than some <laughs> people's. Like mm-hmm. some people's, they're like, oh, what? Oh, why? Why? Right. You mean like dudes or just people? <laughs> D- mostly dudes. A- and some women are like, I can't. It's disgusting. Yeah. Right, right, right. Right. It's weird when people are so grossed out or weirded out about it. I'm like. Bro, Puritans. That means that you want to fuck dudes. Or like it, it's like it, it does something sexually to you. It turns you. Oh, if you don't like it so much. 
Right, right, right. It's just pure. It, yeah, that that you like hate it so. I guess that explains why I really like it because I don't want to fuck. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's it's like sure. No, I love it. That's why I suck them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like when uh, I think about it. Dude. Like someone like hates gay people too much. You know what I mean? They're yes. like, oh, what? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, uh, yuck. And you're like, well, yes. what's happening to you? American Beauty style where the dad kisses Kevin Spacey. Yes, that definitely. People hate what they are not allowed to be because. What they think that they're not allowed to uh, like. Yeah, it's. It's very sad. Because of a puritanical society, okay? Okay, and here we go. Hot, 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 hot. Dude, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Poly charged. Because we don't talk about, yeah, okay. well, we just don't, you know, we need to be showing dicks more. All types mm -hmm. of dicks. We mm -hmm. need to be showing boobs more. We need to be showing vaginas a little bit more because <laughs> we need to. <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> just a little bit more. <laughs> because we need need to understand that the human body is nothing to be ashamed of. But also, it's to be laughed at. Let's <laughs> Correct. You can do that. <laughs> Laughing is good. <laughs> yeah. Let's laugh at it. Right. Laugh at it. That's well, a well, flop. Inherently, a flop is funny. I pulled my dick out not, not to be oogled and ogled, because that is the funniest thing in that situation to have happened. Okay, right. but what if you have the least funniest cock? What if it's just super? You have it. What does that look like to you? What's the? What? It's just great. It's just awesome. It's perfect. It's gray. Did you say it's gray? It's gray. <laughs> it's gray. It's, gray. <laughs> it's not funny. It's gray, and it's alarming. Well, I don't think I have the funniest cock. Like it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, Blake, where are you going? Doc Doctor Ken has the funniest cock. Very funny. Very funny. That's been that I've remember seeing on 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 in a movie or a television show. In Hangover, what was, in Hangover, what was funny about Hangover? He had like a button cock, was surrounded by pubes. Yeah, it was hilarious. Right. What Doctor Ken did for the rest of us, I will thank him forever. Right. Because if anybody's yeah. ever was like, that's a small dick. I go, okay, hang on, and I pull it up on my phone, and I go, is it small now? And they go, oh no, it's like an egg in a nest. Kind right, of. right. It looks like a little baby. Right, a quail egg. <laughs> it's a quail egg. Yeah, it was the best, and also good. Good for him. Put it out there. Bird egg. <laughs> he got a quail egg cock. Yeah, for sure. Let's, let's do some giggles. Yeah, and now he's on like the mass Singer, just killing it. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Just printing money. He baby. really is. They gotta just blow up that image behind him one day for the mass Singer, just as a prank. <laughs> But that wasn't, wait, was that, I'm sorry, but was that his actual cock? I thought that was a, a Merkin with a prosthetic. I think it was, actually. I thought it was. Oh, I don't what? know. My goodness. I'm I not sure if it was. it was his real. <laughs> I thought that was his real penis. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Me too. That's even cooler of him to, if he has like a regular size cock, sure. and then he's like, no, let's make my cock a quarter of an inch long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or, but that's yeah. I would do that. That's a little different. That's a that's different. I would love to do that. I know that's <laughs> funny. I'm saying that that's great. I would much rather put on a quarter of an inch dick than for people to be like, I just watched a movie with <laughs> Honors Holmes' regular ass tiny dick. Wait a minute. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, that's but that was what I did, Anders. <laughs> no, your dick is funny. You've got <laughs> well, your dick paired with your face is hilarious. <laughs> Thank so you. those things are great, and your taint and everything, and the <laughs> screaming. It was a yeah. perfect, perfect comedic physical blast. My favorite thing was that fully just manscaped. Like, you had like a five o'clock shadow going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you you have to. Yeah. I got to pull it up. Can we pull it up? <laughs> yeah. You should have given it a little Caesar do. Oh, and Edgar. Yeah, I should have given it like a little mustache. Like uh, mm -hmm. Alex with three X's really put some time in, into it. That would have been pretty good. We did. We, yeah. We did talk. No, we talked about you getting having a lightning bolt. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And then you were like, I'm already clipped. And we were like, fuck. Right. Yep. Yeah, you were going to have some pube art. Well, wait, didn't you do, didn't you do flames in Workaholics? We could have put a Merkin. Yeah, I, I did flames in Workaholics. Oh, that's right. Yes. That's tight. And thank you for that. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> and then when they, you, because we, we talked about me doing a prosthetic cock, but then they yeah. told me that it would make my dick look bigger. And then mm, I'm like, right, well, that's right. weirder mm. than just showing my dick. 
then 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 suddenly I just have this big ass cock. It wasn't gonna look good. It wasn't gonna look good because it was it was like I was not stoked on the idea of a fake cock. I thought we were gonna shoot a, writing it. I thought we were gonna shoot around it essentially, which we did. Which we did. <laughs> it's hard to shoot around that thing, baby. We did have options to do it. I mean, you can you can. I meant like him wearing a a little what do they call it a cap or whatever the little thing. Oh, oh, like a sock, yeah. Sock, yeah. Yeah, a well, sock. Cock sock. I remember I cock did sock. shoot it to do that <laughs> in the edit. Oh, righty then. Because we could punch in a little bit. You got coverage just in case. Yeah, yeah, it was there. But then <laughs> when, when it was put together, it was just so fucking shocking and hilarious that it it felt tonally correct with the film. <laughs> yeah. Over the top. That's, Damn. That's, that's a dangerous comedy, okay? That's what that Damn. one is. That's what Damn. it says. I get it though. Like you, you know, if if you have a fake, a big fake one, then you have to live up to it. It's kind of right. like when go for go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it. Ariana Grande, remember, like in her music video, she wrote like in her little journal. Maybe you guys never saw this video, <laughs> but it was like I didn't. Pete <laughs> Davidson, and then next to it, she writes like huge, and then no, like right. he does a stand up where he's like, she that was a fucking chess move there, because mm -hmm. now everybody thinks I have this huge dick. And then when they see it, they're like, wow, it's very regular. But right. then he, but that was his chest move. Well, good for him. That's, that's the, yeah. <laughs> that was his chest move. Whoa, you're saying that was a clap back. Well, of course. Of course. This dude knows exactly what he's doing. So she you're writes saying, huge. And then he goes, that's going to make me unlikable. So okay. I'm going to go on my stand up special and be like, now I'm like completely overrated. Right. And then you're saying he's, mm -hmm. he's hogging it. And now girls are like, well, I guess I got to see for myself. Dude, you know he's hogging. Ste for sure, steady hogging. I got a big fucking boner right now. <laughs> Great drop, Blake. Great drop. Points. You're saying Pete's, Pete's big. I'm saying. That's what Ariana Grande said. I'm saying Ariana Grande <laughs> said he's big. <laughs> yeah. Well, she says he's big. That's what we saw in the thank you next video. Kim Kardashian said he's big. She did? Well, I mean, she <laughs> fucked him for a long I time. I think she only fucks guys with big dicks. I'm a man. Yeah, uh, that's true. And when I fucked him, it was huge. I was super sore. Uh huh. You pulled the foot long string out of your ass afterwards. <laughs> it's a bagel. <laughs> it was string, bro. Yeah. That's Pete Davidson's cock, man. It's the size of a rotisserie chicken, yeah. is what I heard. <laughs> chicken uh, string. Yeah. yeah this gotta be strapped down. And Pete, and Pete, thank you for doing a voice on Fabulous Furry Freak Brothers. We appreciate we you. We appreciate dude. you, dog. <laughs> yeah, I love you, bud. What Good a life. guy. What uh -huh. a life indeed. Guys having quite the run. He really is a good guy. He I remember when he yeah. was on uh uh house party when he was 19 years old and he was just oh, the yeah. nicest kid. That was his first time on television. When on on Adam Devine's house party. Yeah, that was his first time on Ooh. TV. Mm. Uh, and we sort of launched his whole career. We did, yeah. and yeah. Uh, I I had my buddy goons uh, no, get man. him weed. He was he was Jonesing. Nice, and uh, yeah, I, I got I got him plugged. That's right. He had come in from New York. What uh what what city was this in? This this was the season one of House Party in Los Angeles. Oh yeah, okay. but what city was that? Because I remember going out there and being like, where are we? It was out there. It was like Chatsworth, right? Wasn't it, Kyle? It's it was it was Chan Chansworth. <laughs> Chatsworth. You you've never seen homes as large as these homes. They were hilariously ostentatious. They were yeah. just mm. giant and dumb and McMansion style. It was yeah. the Mike Tyson house. Didn't they shoot the hangover in that? The same one? I think they did. It was Mike oh, Tyson's really? house. I thought, yes, someone told us that that, that they did. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. But, but these cribs were for sure like 20,000 square feet. They were huge. Yep. The highest ceilings you've ever seen. Like, if, hilarious. But but then they're not, they're also not like... Yeah, triple vaulted. High quality. Like, I feel like... Oh, no. Trash. You go to if you go to one of these big beautiful mansions in Beverly Hills that has been there for a hundred years and you're like yeah. oh my god like everything's so nice and it's right. like is built to stand the test of time not not leaking yeah and and yeah. all those homes yeah. were like there's no batting cages <laughs> yeah. yeah there's some bones and th these houses were kind of kind of hilarious McMansions which was exactly what we wanted for the show but but Pete was what? the man he's 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 a good kid. How long ago? How long ago was that, Adam? When did we shoot that? What years was that? Dude, that was ten years ago. That was two thousand thirteen. Oh wow, fourteen ninety two. Why do they call them? 
Why do they call them McMansions? What because is that? it's like fast um, food. Don't explain this to him. Okay. <laughs> No, what is it? Like fast food? Like <laughs> what do you th- what do you think? What's your theory? I think yeah. you're talking like McDonald's. Okay, good. Uh-huh. They just get it quick to order. So this is like a McMansion, they just pop up. They're it's so it's it's cheap. It's cheap, cheaply made. And then they throw the word mansion in there and, to explain the size of it. Well, it could have also been like maybe there was some guy named like uh Mark McGuire. <laughs> no, stop. Stop. Mark McGuire came up with the, came Mark McGuire? You didn't just go with Mick? Dude, I love that you just dropped McGuire. Mick Mc- Foley. <laughs> I used to uh, is, uh Mick, Mick Foley Mick Dundee. Made this up. Uh Mark McGuire used his wife used to grocery shop at the grocery store. I I <laughs> McGuire. It's McGuire, by the way. What did I say? Mark McGuire. I know, but I said Mick Guire earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what do you mean? What are you, oh, McGuire, what are you saying? (laughs) Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Hang on. Adam has a story about his wife shopping at a grocery store. (laughs) His, his wife shopped at the, at the grocery store and she would tip like $10 uh, to help her with her bags, which I was like an unfathomable amount of money. So it was just me elbowing. Thank you, uh, God. (laughs) Unfathomable. (laughs) All, all the other baggers to, to. (laughs) <laughs> to let me help her, you know, help, yeah. help her out with her groceries. Yeah. yeah, that was always. Yeah. So how's Mark? That was a cool grocery store, man. <laughs> Heather Graham uh, was in there. Bette Midler was in there. Elizabeth Ooh. Hurley. H- who? What about Rodman? Did Rodman ever roll through on yours? Bed Midler. Uh, Rodman was in there. Kobe yeah. Bryant came through. I, Damn. I, cut, I cut him meats. Oh yeah, you used to cut meat. Yeah, that's right. I was I, I was a bagger, and then I worked my way up and was a uh, uh, a sandwich artist in the delicatessen. <laughs> right. Boar's Head quality meats, dog. Oh, delicious! Absolutely. Yeah. Boar's Head fucking rocks, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, shout out to Boar's Head. So good. Send us a box. Yeah, fucking team Boar's Head. Please. That's kicks butt. I like their cheeses, too, also. Like, yeah, their cheese rocks. Hey, guys, w- the Workaholics movie, it's not going on Paramount+. Plus. We have some downtime. I would like to use this time to become morbidly obese. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I am willing to eat all the boar's head, all the cheese, all the delicious meats that they have. Mmm, meats, cheeses. But here's the thing. It doesn't make you obese. It's it actually really healthy for you. Okay. Hey, well, I'm on board. Yes, it's very, it's trim. Yeah, board. Hey, board's head. I'm on board. No, mm. board teenager. It's a whole mm. thing. Oh. <laughs> yes, but. <laughs> yeah. Boar's, boar's teenager. Mm. I'm, I'm on board. Hi, uh, I'm Blake Anderson. I I run the soundboard on This Is Important. Just want to say, I hope you enjoy Boar's Head Meats. I'm on board. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't the really boy. get it. Yeah, you're a Boar's yeah, teenager. Boar's. If there's a if there's a different version of that, I like yeah. it. Yeah. Oops. Winning. Blake Anderson All is right, I'll work on Boar's yeah. 40 year old teenager. <laughs> <laughs> see if we if we were on set we would have we would have time to kind of bat that one around see like because mm-hmm. that wordplay is really not working it, how yeah. you're doing it now but if yeah. we were on set we would have the time to really hammer that out and that's one of the many things we lost by not doing the workaholics movie is yeah. is really yeah. hammering out those little bits like that yeah. you know lordy lordy yeah. I'm over the boardy. I mean, it's really, it's, it's really striking my ego. I'm like, I'm like, is something wrong with me? You know, like, why did they, you know, I mean, at that point of the grieving. Well, yeah, but like, it has nothing to do with. Yeah, I I know. I'm at that point. I'm grieving this. Um, What did Emma, Emma just said something to me. Oh, she goes, it's okay. I I go, it's okay. It's fine. She goes, Andres, you can be butthurt. (laughs) (laughs) Look at you Emma. Look at you Look at you go. Wild stuff. I love that. Yeah, it's okay um, to be butt hurt right now. It is. I can't wait to talk to my dad. I hope he goes, that's pretty loose butthole. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> and you go, thank you, dad. Thank you. Thank you, dad. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> my mom was going to be like, I'm going to go chorg your stepdad about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, gag. Wait, what? <laughs> wow. Uh, Nothing. Wow. That's not even from the show. Yeah, what was that, dude? <laughs> 
That's just perverted. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not from the show at all, dude. What was that referenced? Is this just something you got to get off yeah. your chest? <laughs> I, thought we just, I thought we were just saying what the parents were going to say. Can I go back uh, nope. to fucking your stepdad now? <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm constantly doing. Well, that's cool. They have such a healthy relationship. <laughs> okay, Blake. Yeah, it's cool that you, and it's cool that you are okay with it, obviously. I have oh, to boy. be. I have to be. <laughs> yeah, I have okay. to be okay with it. It's very, it was a very small house. <laughs> Gotta be okay with it. Yeah, thin we, walls, thin walls. Gotta be okay with it. And we did say chorg in the show, okay? We, exp I told Bill to look it up. All right. <laughs> we did, we did. I couldn't tell if you were doing a Thanksgiving. I thought you were doing a Thanksgiving gag cock reference. <laughs> I thought you were doing. We that. did say chorg in the show. I didn't just pull that out of thin air. Yeah, but it's not like iconic. I thought that was a thing we just talked about in the writers' room. I don't. Doing? I don't remember that reference. <laughs> Like, loose butthole is iconic. <laughs> Clearly part iconic. of the show. Yeah, but you said Chorg. <laughs> and you pulled Chorg because, and then you're like, wait, is it in the show? Is it in the show? If you don't know Chorg, please do yourself a favor and look it up. And is it, like, easily look upable? Yeah. Tr yeah. Chorging is just <laughs> Most things are. <laughs> C-H-O, -O, is it C-H-O-R-G? I don't know. It might be from the basement. Uh, no. Okay, yeah, no, it's Urban Dictionary. Uh, okay, yeah. I'll read it. Chord. <laughs> the sound made when someone Popcorn. gives head to deep, too deep, and almost chokes. The act of almost Thank choking God. while giving head. Blake, hit us with it. Right. <laughs> I don't have the soundboard. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> All I have <laughs> is this, <laughs> this Durs website. Durs got it. Durs got it. <laughs> and what's cool, what's cool is you know, like, oh, fuck. that a, wo a woman came up with that. For sure. <laughs> yes. that, that name? She was oh. like, I was, oh, I chorged. And so then what What were you doing? Well, I chorged. What is that? No, it's onomatopoeia. <laughs> that would be great if... if What is it? Onomatopoeia? What is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, you talk... What are you talking about? Isn't that when you make... But how is that an onomatopoeia? A word that sounds like it is, but... Yeah, though, that's like, chorg, chorg. <laughs> like, whoop, whap. Chorg, chorg. But you're not doing it. Oh, I thought an onomatopoeia was something that was like mom. Like that's it's, a palindrome. No, that's a palindrome. palindrome. Yes, there's. Yes. Real man, a genius. <laughs> genius. It would be cool no. if they if <laughs> urban. <laughs> Wait, but how is chorg? Because listen, listen. Okay, I'm going. Chorg. <laughs> well, you have to really sandwich in the ch. No, but the the thing you did first was what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's yeah. not an onomatopoeia. <laughs> it does. You're right. It doesn't. Sound. <sighs> I guess pow. <laughs> Isn't pow a fucking onomatopoeia? Pow. Yeah. yeah. Like pow, yeah. bang. Yeah. I wish they right. had entomology of these urban dictionary words. That'd be cool. Isn't entomology the study of bugs? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Real men of genius. Men of genius. Isn't entomology the, the study of coffee uh, cakes? I think so. Yeah, entomology? Ants. It's ant study. No, it's ant. like, the, isn't it the history? Entomology is the study of coffee cakes, and I'm sticking with that. <laughs> isn't it that the history? I think entomology is the history, like where it started from. So now that we essentially have our spring off, guys, what are we going to get really good at? Pickleball. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I'm... I'm deep in pickleball already, so I'll All just right. keep doing that shit. Yeah, I'll okay. come I'll come play now. Yeah, Let's play, yeah. dude. I'm ready. Yeah. I was tied down. You know what I want to do? I'm, I I want to become a golfer. All I right. really do want to become a golfer. Yeah. I feel like all all of my friends are golfing all the time. I have clubs. I'll golf with you. Yeah. We, yeah. Let's let's take up golfing, guys. I I want to be those because that's a for whatever reason people just accept golfing as like a thing that you can go do for 4 hours. And they're yeah. like, oh, he's golfing. But if you were to go like, I'm just going to smoke weed and play video games. Right. That's oh, unacceptable. We... You know what I mean? But Is like, this... I feel like the wives, they, for whatever reason, wives in society <laughs> allow golf to be a thing. Right. So let's do, let's get into that shit. I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, I'm in. I think the, ca you, the cat's tickle. out of the bag now though <laughs> yeah we're fucked yeah, that, our wives don't listen to this shit you just explained it 
let's go say we're golfing and play video games. I want to get good at like mahjong. And what? Like, <laughs> what is that? Mahjong poker? Is that poker? That's poker, right? It's the tile game. It's oh. like the. Uh, all right. Taipei? The Taipei game on the computers? Yeah, I'm going to go golfing with Adam. That's a, <laughs> well, I'm going to go drink beers in... in yeah, I'm going to smoke blunts and... Uh, on beautiful vistas at golf yeah. on golf courses. You can drink beers and smoke blunts and play Mahjong. You know what, Blake? You can find me and Adam at the Riv. Yeah, but you're not in beauty. We're going to be at the Riv. Yeah. You're like in a, a, a rec center or some shit. You're at an old folks home. Guys, Kyle's trying to drop a... Kyle's dropping a reference here. Go for it, Kyle. Yeah, guys. What do you got? I, Blake, okay. me and Adam are going to be at the Riv. Uh-huh. Okay. What, isn't that a country What's club that? in Palisades? <laughs> Rivera? It is. It's the super expensive. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's go there, dude. Yeah. They got pickleball there. They got pickleball there. I I golfed at Torrey Pines during the pandemic, and it's fucking beautiful and raggedy. Where is that? Where's Torrey Pines? Torrey Pines is like on the way to San Diego because um, it's a public course, but it's like on the ocean. So it's mm. like re fucking ridiculous. And it's not that expensive to play. And cool, I think cool. it's only like $70 if you live right there, which is I bananas. Um, whoa, whoa. What is the cost of golf? <laughs> it's bad, dude. <laughs> oh, it's a few hundred dollars if it's like a nice, if it's a nice course. Wow. Yeah. It's uh, upwards of 150 to like 300 bucks. Mm -hmm. If you're, wow. if you're part of like a, like a country club or like a, like what's the one in Studio City? It's insane. I saw that. I looked at country clubs around my crib. Yeah. How much, uh, the country club to join in Newport Beach? J just to join and then you still have to pay like dues but the the can yes. i guess can we guess first can we guess first yeah the the nuts to join okay is it six hundred thousand dollars no it's not 600 no it's less than that no 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 it's i my guess is it's um i got uh, it. around eighty thousand a year to play golf at that club but what's the no what's the buy-in he's talking about the buy-in no the buy-in and then and then there's like monthly dues and stuff i want to say it's thirty thousand dollars a month but we're talking about the buy-in. No, not a month. Just the nut buy-in that you have to pay just to join, it's and then there's dues. And I don't know what the dues are. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I I still am going eighty thousand. I think it's somewhere around there. Hundred, hundred thousand. I'm gonna say one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars to join. It's it's so much more than one hundred twenty thousand, but it's it's not that much more. It's two hundred thousand. <laughs> uh, really? Which is. A lot to me, Durs. Dude, well, it's a ton. Yeah, that's a lot just to join. Of course, but the Riv, the Riv is, I think, four. Oh, wow. Well, is that, I mean, is the Palisades nicer than the Newport Beach? But then I think it's 30000 a month. But what you got to do, you got to get, just ditch the golf. Just go. Well, I wouldn't think so. I would think that the country club lifestyle down in Newport Beach is way more pricey than... Palisades? Around here. Yeah, well, just because it's like, but it's more the culture down there. No, that's the Palisades, dude. That's like. It's, yeah, it's different. The, golf has weird rules. But the Palisades, that's the only one they got. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I bet I bet it's because there, there's a lot of money up there. I mean, there's a lot of money in Newport Beach as well, but uh, I think. Yeah. I think that escaping the hustle and bustle of Los Angeles is more of a yes. thing. Check the check the link that I just dropped in because this is what I was reading uh, a while back. And you're, yeah. See, dude, is do they talk about the one near like Toluca Lake? That one's pretty exclusive. That one is. That's the one where like actors aren't allowed to join, right? Oh, really? Yeah, they it, they like because Santino was telling me about it because Santino's apparently a really good golfer and golfs a lot. And uh, I could see that. Mm -hmm. He golfs at this place and he's like, "There's no actors allowed to join. You can go play if you're invited, but you're not allowed to be." Okay, the riv is the riv is two fifty to join. Yeah, two fifty. That's crazy. But then what's the what's the what's the annual dues? Do you know? Does that come up? I think it's like I thirty thousand. I think it's thirty thousand a month. Because when I was looking, it was like yeah. So the so that, that that's right in the wheelhouse. It seems like the nice ones are two two fifty, two hundred, one sixty, one eighty. But here's the thing: if you don't play golf, you can get a tennis and like a swimming pass for way fucking cheaper, dude. Yeah, this is what dude. I've been looking at. Hey, and if you're just listening now, <laughs> this is when we became absolutely unrelatable. But we'll be back talking about. <laughs> I'm wearing a hot dog sweatshirt, though. That seems like an insane amount of money to then you still have to pay for golf.
Yes, it only gets you in the club. Mm, no, you don't. I don't think so. Oh, I thought you'd... you. You get to play a certain amount per week or something. You have tickets if you exceed that. I don't think so. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. yeah. But, but okay. people join multiple clubs, and nah. that's wild. Mm. I'm good on that. Yeah. Dude, it's crazy. Like, just, Justin Timberlake is like a scratch golfer, and he belongs to like four clubs, I think. Well, damn, yeah. dude. If if I if I would have done the workaholics movie, I would have done this, but now I can't. So <laughs> yeah, we can't. Yeah. So let's just go frisbee golf. Yeah, I let's, love it. Now we're relatable. Yeah, that's like five bucks. Get out your uh, your leopard and your fucking cheetah and your ogre or oh troll. nice. What do they call the putters? What's a putter called? The T bird or whatever? Birdie? What do they call it? Dude, you're past me. The putter, the little putter. Yeah, I think it's just called putter. No, no. The what the discs are a Nova. Ooh, ooh, a beautiful really? disc. Innova, Innova makes a beautiful disc, and and whole. What's cool about Innova is not only are their discs beautiful, but the bags that they carry the discs mm. in that they make, oh. unbelievable. The t-shirts are fun. I was never the uh, frisbee golf. I never went with the bag. I always just either one or two discs, and yeah, the bag out there. I had a fanny pack. I had a fanny pack. Really? I feel like yeah. it was too much if you had the whole... You've seen it. Had a Subway sandwich in it. The whole bag. Oh, I love that fa I love that fanny pack. We got to go play paintball. Or is that what we did when you... Yeah, let's get... Let's fucking paintball, dude. Oh, let's get really good at paintball. Yeah. Anything where I can wear my fanny pack. Yes. <laughs> and put Subway sandwiches in it. Yes. But yes, Adam, to get like the crate with like the wheels... That's a whole lifestyle. That's too much. Yeah. Oh, you're talking like a roller bag? Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, no. You just need to have four or five discs and a 40 and you're good to grow. Yeah, bro. 40 and a blunt. <laughs> a blunt that's rolled, dog. Let's do it. Mm. <laughs> that's it, baby. And my orc. Uh. I'm totally down to live this life with you guys now. Let's become golfers. Let's do frisbee golf. Let's get yes. way into hacky sack again. Yes. Real quick, Ooh. real quick. Okay, real the quick. The way society's gone, right? Where Okay. Okay. Here we go. Uh -oh. All right, poly charged. That's on fire. <laughs> if you're famous, if you're if you're rich to have like made it and be like balling out, you're on like private jets, you're drinking mm. Cristal. Mm -hmm. Am Great. I crazy? Cristal. What was this 2006? Or or was there nothing more baller <laughs> than when Dr. Dre Being opened a good the dad. refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> and had it full of 40s from top to bottom. Because to me, I was like, isn't that all you really need to do? Right. There is a certain amount of excess that you do not need to tap into. Like a, a refrigerator full of 40s. Buzz Unbelievable. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's, you made it. You did it. <laughs> that is really cool. cool. It, what do you need more than that? Admittedly, my, my favorite thing about having the small amount of money that I have I is having refrigerators one percent. Yes, you're very good at that, you're Adam. My, my refri rich. Yes, okay, I'm rich. But the yeah. refrigerator game is on point. Yeah. No, but you're very and good at it. It's so nice. It's, it is my favorite thing about it. I'm like, just always, always it's... I'm bad at that. My shit's just... <laughs> Uh, no, I don't have that. I'm just fucking veggies. That's kind of it, dude. Adam always has uh, seltzer waters. He always mm, has Coke yep. Zeros. He always yep. has beers. He always has, um, you know, some sort of maybe a tonic, gin and tonic. That's so cool. You know, I, you know, I got them cans ready to go. If someone wants a, 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 a cannabis beverage. Dude, can Ooh. I give a shout out to a drink that I had when I was just in Colorado hitting the slopes? Of course you can. Absolutely. Please, please do. It's called Smooge. Oh, oh my God! Splooge? Yeah, well, that's a bad name. It's real close to Splooge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. That's what I kept saying. But I they had it's a it's a hard seltzer smoothie in a can, and I what bought it, being the, like, "What the fuck is this? What the fuck is going on?" That sounds disgusting. It was a pina colada in a can, and it was unfucking okay. believable. S S M O O J, I believe. Shout out! You made my weekend up in uh, Colorado a good time. It was unbelievable because it sounds diarrhea. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it sounds I know. a little nasty. What's but, it called? And, smooge. Ew! It's called a. It's called smooge hard smoothies, bro. Diarrhea. 
And dude, I was like, I drank, I bought them on, because you guys know me. I'm the guy who grabs like the thing in the grocery store that's like, what is this? You guys know me. Yes. And, uh, yes. You're trying. Yeah, he, he goes, he goes weird. <laughs> You're trying every Oreo flavor. He loves it. And I bought it, and I drank one, and then I, I was yelling at everybody to have to drink one, and people were like, this is actually kind of off the chain. Really? Yeah. Huh. It sounds like a terrible idea. Well, I mean, what are the... Because that sounds like thick as hell. Is it the type I'm of thing... I'm looking at it. It's thick. Adam, Adam, it's viscous. It's uh. thick. Um, well, that's like a tomato. I do like a viscous drink. Is is it like you could only have one or you, you could pound a handful? Yeah, you don't want to drink more. You don't want to drink more than two, I would say. Yeah. Just do like you, if you were poolside, you wouldn't yeah, you, be slamming pina coladas because you would have ultimate heartburn and like your teeth would fall out. Yeah, you would. Uh, we're, yeah, we're old now. You can't just pound certain things, but yeah. uh, you can't <laughs> eat an re- entire rotisserie chicken <laughs> rope and all. You can do that. Yeah, I'm like, you could just pound <laughs> cake. Uh, uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> pound certain things. But dude, this was so good and I'm going to beg them to send me some stuff. Do um do you blend it with ice or you just drink it straight up? Out of the can, it's got the consistency of the smoothie, straight like a pina colada. But smoothies are f- like frozen. And they call them a hard smoothie. Dude, and read the ingredients. Read the ingredients. The ingredients are just like simple simple ingredients. Yeah, no gluten. No gluten or dairy, just enough booze, man. It's it's light, uh, a light bubbles, jam packed with nature's candy. No artificial flavoring. The the ingredients are like fruit, this fruit, that fruit, seltzer water, alcohol. Period. That's great. There's, there's one person's period, period. in there. <laughs> period blood. <laughs> okay. Oh 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 wow oh wow yeah yeah one lady's period yeah. That's what gives it the viscous. The viscous is, uh, huh? Diarrhea. Well, this is really interesting. <laughs> By the way, they were packing the boxes to send to us, and then we said <laughs> that, and they were like, "Oh, Damn. these are the guys whose movie didn't get made." Done. Yeah. Hold it. up, we know what their thing is. Let them just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still. I'm still dumbfounded that we're not currently shooting the Workaholics movie. It's 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 uh, beyond. It would be happening Thanks. as this aired, or no? A little in a couple weeks. A couple weeks. No, we'd we'd still be a, a couple weeks out. Yeah, putting the ties on. Mm-hmm. Blake yeah. would be uh, growing Jesus. the mustache out more. Oh, uh, growing my mustache. Uh, I just shaved my beard too. Son of a bitch. Oh, uh, that's mm. a bummer, bro. It had the longest, thickest beard. Getting my classic Lego hair haircut. Dude, I was mm. gonna bleach my hair again. I was That's gonna fine. go back to the bleach Carl. I think you should. Oh, that that would be tight. You should just do yeah. that. Cut yeah. my hair and bleach it. Just go. No spoilers. No more spoilers for the movie. Thing <laughs> made. No more spoilers. <laughs> Dude, I could uh, care. I mean, it's not a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to spoil anymore. Fucking whole thing got the goddamn spoiled. Okay? <laughs> yes, now. I tell you what, yeah. the whole goddamn thing got spoiled. Yeah. I'm gonna go chort your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I'll just be pounding sh- smooches, man. F the F the world. F the, the twelve world. pack is sixty dollars. Yeah, okay. I saw that. Holy shit, man. Every you guys, we gotta we gotta scale it back. They call these things they call these <laughs> hey, where the movie's not getting made. We can't we can't afford the smooches anymore. No golf, no smooge. They call these things hard smoothies, but wouldn't it be better if they were called rough smoothies? Huh? Just uh Well, no. Any take backs or <laughs> yeah. uh no, that's a really <laughs> bad name. Rough. Like you drink it and you're like, ugh, rough. Oh, this is rough. Ugh, this yeah, is but rough. smooth and rough would be like directly, you know. Oh, rough sure. Only for this. Ruffies? Only for this. I'm not saying make a s- But hard and smooth. Hard but hard and no! smooth. Yeah, hard and right, right. I don't yeah. Like a bowling ball. Yeah, I'm probably <laughs> wrong, but I just noticed it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Ball yeah. Reference. A, a it's stiff okay. smoothie, and that's another one of the bits that we really could have hammered out if we were on set together and had. Mm-hmm. If we're yeah. standing next to each other for twelve hours a day, yeah. we would really hammer those bits home. See, they yeah. get first thoughts here on the pod. We yeah. wanted to give you guys like third thoughts on the movie. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right, 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 <laughs> not right, right, just right. first. We wanted to workshop this shit. Yeah. Hey, I'd say even like eight, eight thoughts. Oh, there's a new flavor, dude. Tenth, yeah. it's great. So many thoughts we put into that movie that and they get better. Just isn't getting made. Uh, they get better every time. I'm angry. Cut to commercials. 
cut to commercials. Hey, welcome back, guys. We're still <laughs> mad. We're still angry. Uh, We're salty. Salty boys. Still raining. Let's complain. Oh, oh, you know what we should do? Take a trip to Africa. Take a page out of Dave Chappelle's book. That would be very cool. Let's do it. I'm down. I mean, dude, my Emma just went and fucking balled out on some safari. I'm so super jelly. Oh, that's oh. tight. Dude, was there like some sweet pictures? She said it was amazing. Dude, so I'm going to be, I think by the time no. this airs, I'll be in Indonesia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah! What? When? When is that? I leave next Tuesday. Now you don't have to come back. That's so tight. I was telling my our our nannies in Indonesia. Yeah. Now I might never come back. Are you guys actually gonna hit land or just gonna be around? No, I think we're gonna stay on. We're gonna be like on the boat. I think we might like go to like a have a dinner on some island at one right. at one point. But I've I have right. no idea. But the weather, I'm looking at the weather, dude. It's it looks like it's thunderstorms, bomb cyclone. Yeah, like. <laughs> Like yeah. every day, so it, but that's, that's fun cool. on a boat. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might come back with like an ins- like an insane story, like or, yeah. or you might not come back. What's the boat situation? It, it might be a news story. It might be a news story. Yeah, it, it might be a news story. Yeah, it could possibly be a news story. <laughs> there could um, be some. What is the what is the boat situation? Is it a little boat, big boat? What are you doing? <laughs> It's like a big yacht. It's like a 180 okay. foot yacht, and there's uh, That's it's a like big a, yacht. A, yeah, a proper proper ship. Uh, nice. And it's it's Look for you. my friend's uh, birthday party, and there's uh, going to be just a ton of us uh, drinking, having fun on this boat, Snor- that, that sounds... snorkeling. As long as the weather's tight. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that does concern me. But w- yeah, we will see. Yeah, that concerns um, me a little. God, bit. And, I, and I couldn't pull the name of the guy to tell the joke, and then I was like, "Well, what was this?" Jizz Lane. It's really cool that you're friends with Jizz Lane Maxwell. Jizz <laughs> Lane. <laughs> Have fun with her on the yacht. Jizz uh, Lane. Lane. God, you, I was here struggling. I'm like, "What was the fucking dude's name? Oh, what was her name?" Epstein, so funny. bro. Yeah. Epstein. <laughs> Epstein Island. Yeah, we're gonna di- we're gonna dine on Epstein <laughs> Island. Uh, go- Adam's going to Indonesia with. Eb- Epstein's ghost. You're going uh, to that whoa. weird uh, blue. No, that's legit. But that remember when blue. it would storm for a little bit in the Bahamas when we were doing uh, Shark Week, and it was kind of cool. Yeah, Chloe was kind of bummed when she was looking at the weather. She's like, "Oh, this this might suck." And I'm like, "Well, if it's anything like the Bahamas, it was like the storm rolls in and it yeah. rolls right the fuck out, and yeah. and it was kind of cool." Well, how calm are the waters there? Right, and the boat has the boat has the thing. Th- those waters in the Bahamas were very calm. Yeah, like they were. Yeah, what do you think? He's going to like the Pirates of Dark Waters? I don't know. I gotta. You think there's a monkey bird? <laughs> He's going to the Triangle, bro. He's going to the Triangle, Bermuda. No, I'm I, I'm going to the Triangle. Sad. Bermuda shorts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, I mean it's Indonesia, so there's like 1,500 islands right there. So I think it's you're massive. able to like dip behind islands. And th- these guys, you know, it's a professional ship. There's <laughs> you dip behind islands. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's logic right there. Adam Devine, he dips behind islands. Whoa. An island. That's so good. Whoa. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Like if uh, you're, you're I mean? able to hide from storms a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I would assume. I would assume. Storm hider. Yeah, I think you're right. Monsoon. Yeah, <laughs> like get, get, just... a, get all up in a cove somewhere. By the way, we were going to film a movie. Adam, you're going missing on this trip. It was never going to happen. Yeah, yeah the that's movies... true. You weren't yeah. coming back from that one, brother. SS Minnow is the are the people there essentially? Because I know a couple of people there, and it kind of seems like the cast of Gilligan's Island. A three hour tour. <laughs> Never seen it. <laughs> I'll say homegirl. She's definitely Mary Jane. Adam, you're the Don't skipper. One hundred percent. Um, who's Gillis? Oh boy, wait. Oh, oh. Who's Dobie Gillis? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know all the people. I just know a couple, but Yes, you do. So far. I barely I barely remember what Gill- Gilligan's Island to begin with. So I did not like that show at all when it did come on like FX or whatever. I know. Yeah, I definitely turned it. Even when like the fucking Harlem Globetrotter showed up? FX. That's a dude. F- FX. No, it was like Nick at Nick at night. FX, when it originally started, was very old shows. It was like Treasure Island. It was like right. Batman, the show. That's how they 
build capital. Oh, well, I would have gone like uh, Mission Impossible. Nick at Night or some shit. That's where I saw all my old shows. I saw it as it aired. <laughs> George is the oldest man we know. I auditioned for that and yeah. uh, didn't get it. Shut the fuck up! Um, yeah, Dobie Gillis. Actually, the guy from Dobie Gillis is same. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, that's that's what. Yeah, Gilligan is Dobie Gillis. Gilligan yeah. is Dobie. <laughs> yeah. So we we'll see. How many seasons did Gilligan's Island have? By the way, it probably only went like two or three. That's what's crazy about some of these shows. When you look back and they were iconic. No, that's got to be. That shit was huge. That huge. shit was huge. It just had the best theme song, right? Well, there was only like three channels, bro. No, I know, but... Gilligan's Island is like... Uh, uh, what is it? It goes like... Oh, three. Three seasons. That is so weird. You're kidding me. But not... No, I'm not kidding. Three seasons, but 90... Wow, yeah. Three seasons. 98 episodes, though. <laughs> oh, Jesus, well, fuck. Well, oh. that does uh, That's a horse of a different color. That's a bad contract, Gilligan. <laughs> right. Hey, Toby. Hey, you get to renegotiate after four seasons. Oh, my yeah. God. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. the third season, we'll renegotiate. And you, you have to do uh, 33 episodes a season. Fuck. That's insane. What a... Dude, damn. 36 episodes of the first season. That's yeah. wild. Holy shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? The skipper kind of jacked, right? Was like, he? He, yeah, he was. They they made him like fat or whatever, but he was like old school fat, which oh, was, was just like thick with like a belly. Dude, I know the, that's how my body's gonna morph into. <laughs> I know the nineties, eighties, nineties, two thousand fat. Exactly. And Adam, that's dude. This guy looks like Adam. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about Alan Hale Jr. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like. That used to be fat. The new fat is like morbidly obese with yeah. like skin sagging off you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're hanging on by a thread nowadays. You used to be able to like you're fat, but like your whole body's hard to the touch. Exactly, this bro yes. looks exactly. You're, you're a hard smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is out. You're smooth. <laughs> your body is smooth, your bro. Is smooth. <laughs> Send yeah. us a box. Uh, dude. This dude just looks like John Madden. He has like a football player's body. He looks right. like Adam. Durs is definitely the professor, 100%. Oh, and we're not talking street ball? Are we talking street ball, professor? <laughs> oh, shit. No, Spider-Man. No. I'm talking Gilligan Island. I'm half man, half amazing. Blake is Gilligan. So which, which guy am I? I'm the skipper. Is that what we're saying? Oh, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah, you're Alan Hale Jr. And yeah, then yeah. Blake, you're Bob Denver. <laughs> <laughs> Who's You're Bob dumb. Denver? <laughs> Bob <laughs> Denver. Gilligan. He's Gilligan, homie. <laughs> Bob Denver is Gilligan. He's Toby. Oh, yeah. wow. Thank yeah. you. What a blessing. What Thank is you. Bob Denver's real name? Yeah. Well, you have the hair. You have the funny hair. It's like you you have to do that. Gil Gilligan doesn't have funny hair. I know, but he has funny eyes and he's goofy. Wait, so was like you're not gonna be able to hide that. He was like he was like a, a dumb sweetheart. Yeah, Wait, it's Blake. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> exactly, was, yes. Was Gillian the first? Gillian. Gillian? <laughs> Gillian? Are you talking about... Oh, he can't even say his name. Was he the first guy ever to have swoop bangs? Is he the original emo swoop bang? <laughs> his bangs are great. I think he had a sailor's hat on the whole time, didn't he? But the swoop bangs were hanging. A bucket hat. It's like a... Yeah, but his, his bangs are, are cutting, or they're swooping out of, from the front. Are you guys looking at something? Yeah, we're looking at Wikipedia. Yeah, I'm looking at nude photos of Ben Denver. Is he on uh, feet.com? <laughs> His name is Bob Denver. <laughs> Bob Denver has swoop. Bo Did you say boom Denver? He said Bob ben. Ben. Jesus. If you, if you have Bob Denver, like, and kid didn't know him, they might think he just is the front man of, like, Vampire Weekend. This guy has <laughs> swag, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, like, rugby he's rocking is tight, and he's got, like, a little flared... Yeah, this bro has swag. He's they just all has... did. He does. The collar is great. I love oh, it. Oh, Kyle, are you the old dude? Mr. fucking... Who's the old dude? What's the rich dude's name? The rich old dude. Was he, like, perverted? Oh! <laughs> Probably. Well, if he's perverted, then, bro, that's me, dog. <laughs> um, I don't know any of these characters. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah. The Professor and Mary Ann. Yeah, look at the old dude with the hat. Who's yeah. the old they, dude? Is that Russell Johnson? What were their names? I don't know any of these guys. That's Russell Johnson. That's, I think that's him, right? No, that's a professor. 
Anders, can you answer this? Did did this show take place over like? Did this show did this? this? Well, what <laughs> did this dude just did this? How long were they on this island? Years. Yeah. Yeah, they're stuck. But they never change clothes. They have the same clothes every episode. Yeah, exactly. Yes, just like us. Yeah. The whole thing is like it's a three hour tour, and then they. Oh yeah. Thurston oh, Howell the okay. third. And they they left from the Newport Beach Harbor. That was uh, where they shot it. No shit, yeah. dude. You gotta be yeah. careful out there, Adam. Promise, yeah, dude. Never. Promise? No. Oh boy. Durs, are you talking about Jim Backus? Is that the? <laughs> <laughs> You're just making up names. <laughs> yeah, Jim Backus. Jim Backus is Thurston Howell. Well, was that Durs <laughs> as our oldest friend? What was your favorite old show? Was it Gilligan's Island or was it? I got mine. I mean, are we going that far back? Yeah, like old show. Dude, I got, I got, I know mine too. What I loved, I know mine. Uh, yeah, I mean, dude, like speaking of perverts, like I know mine. Let's talk about them. Like Dick Van Dyke was a tight show. Like I actually really enjoyed because it was like I don't even know that. Well, hey, I love Lucy was insanely funny. I love Lucy is very good, but like I, I dream of Jeannie. It was very funny. It was very good, but Dick Van Dyke, uh, he was a comedy writer on the show. It yeah. was it was cool. I remember as a little kid being like, "Oh, you can just be a comedy writer." And I didn't like that show. Oh, really? I never watched it. I never saw it. Yeah, that show. It always seemed too corporate for me. I just was like, "Nah, <laughs> that's yeah. not my He's shit. too nar. <laughs> Yeah, corporate. Yeah, it's so corporate, dude. Because yeah, he was like an office dude. He was sharply dressed and all that. I guess. Oh, suit and tie. Yeah, the texture of it was not me. I was more Mr. Ed yeah, but, or like fucking happy. <laughs> or like, well. Mr. Ed, that show sucks. Mr. Ed was, I remember being always disappointed by Mr. Ed. No. Yeah, that show had nothing to it. Yeah, yeah. Always being like, I'll watch this. is a talking horse. And then being like, yeah. what the fuck like, is going yeah, on? But the whole was so sick. All I need is one little gimmick like that. And I'm fucking in, bro. <laughs> I mean, Patty, Patty Duke was a babe. Um, Does this one count? Three's what? Company. That's like that's 70s. That's too new. Yeah. yeah. That's, I'm, yeah. No, that's not old enough. That's 70s. It's got to be It's got to be before then. Oh, well, that was my shit. Black I and white. More like, uh, oh, really? Like, but Happy Days. Happy Days. Well, Does that count? Happy Days is not black and white. Yeah, Happy Days would count. That's not black and white. Wait, that's, no, 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 Adam, that's a oh, show oh, going... from later on that's a play on a throwback. Okay. <laughs> Oh, is it? Yeah, it didn't. It took place before it aired. Those shows always trip me out when I'm a kid because I just imagined it was from the time period that they were shooting in. It's like watching Days and Confused now. If you're 15, you're like, dude, is this from the 70s? You're like, no, it's from 25 years later or whatever. Completely confused me even when it came out because it mm -hmm. had it was all 70s inspired, but it was made in the 90s. I yeah, thought it was an old piece. movie. Right. It's a time yeah. piece. Uh, like, a, like a watch. Uh, Brave, Braveheart. Yeah, Braveheart was also made in the 90s. <laughs> that was right. weird to me because that's like yeah. about yeah. way earlier than the 90s. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. That's a trip yeah. to me. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Passion that's very confusing Christ? to our director. That, did that yeah. throw you? Passion of the Christ threw you? It, it's super weird. Yeah. It's just a, tra it's a trip. Uh, dude, mid-90s fucked me up. <laughs> mid-90s really <laughs> had me I was like, whoa. Twisted. I know. That just came out. I was like, what? Jonah, come on. You magician, dude. <laughs> you made this as a child? I <laughs> don't understand. Crazy. Yeah. When did you do this? Are you the main character? Is this found footage? <laughs> <laughs> What's it's going really... on? Was he in it? I can't even remember that movie. Was he in it? No, he was not. No. Oh, no, John no. Is not. No, no. Nope. Not in that. That mm. movie's cool though. I like that movie. Skate or die. Well, I stand by I stand by I Love Lucy. That is by far the funniest black and white TV show. Yeah, I stand by the Beatles. Uh, I stand by Macaroni and Cheese. <sighs> okay. We need thinny. You're asked what the funniest and best old black and white TV show is. Didn't say the best. Said, what's your favorite? The Be Be Beverly Hillbillies, maybe? It was I Love Lucy. Yeah, Beverly Hillbillies. That was off the chain. I know, but yeah. I Love Lucy is great, but it, it doesn't have that sauce, though. I Love Lucy well, had the sauce. It does. What are you talking about? Uh, no, no, no. Because I... Or, no, you know what it was for me? The Monsters. The dude. Monsters. As soon as you said, what's it called? I was like, The Monsters was off the chain. Oh, my God. That show is corny. No. Monsters and Adam's Family rock. I know, but it was like, how was this on? Yeah, but you were a kid and it was fucking weird. Monsters and Adam's Family rock. Adam, it was definitely something that should not be on. Yes. It, it felt fucking bizarre.
I, I love the swing. It did, did anybody watch the new movie, the Rob Zombie one? I want to watch it. Yeah, I t- it's not, isn't it? There's a is new a mo- Monsters movie? I watched it. I watched it. It's fucking bizarre. Yes, and it's it's weird. He like yeah. kept the same. Who's Eddie Munster? Oh, no. And why didn't I get it? They shot it in Bulgaria. He, yeah, why didn't Adam book this? Yeah. <laughs> it's really bizarre. They like kept the exact tone. I, actually, Adam, I know why. They said you were unavailable because you're doing the Workaholics movie. <laughs> yeah, because I was doing the Workaholics movie. Oh, Makes sense. God. How many of those are we going to walk back? Uh, wait, who, who's in the new Monsters movie? Jesus. It's just a bunch of, like, I think, like... His wife, who's in all of Rob Zombie's movies. Because uh, Rob Zombie drives the Monsters car, right? In real life. He bought it. I th- oh, think I think so. so. Yeah. I think he was... Dra- I, I remember him doing... Dragula. I thought he was going to bring, bring yeah. back the show. I didn't know that... It was going to be a movie. It's a movie, no, it's a movie. I think. They Check shot it, it in Bulgaria, and it's fucking weird. But visually, it looks awesome. I mean, it it looks cool. He's a good director. I liked House of a Thousand Corpses in those movies. Yeah, yeah, they're fun. They're very visually bizarre and narratively loose. Mm. <laughs> you okay. know? Narratively loose. I'm I didn't even know that spread. this was a movie. The, a Monsters movie, 2022. Yeah. It got the fact that on. this got made and the Workaholics movie didn't, <laughs> Who made that? Up. Who made that? Do we know? Seems seems weird. It does seem weird. I think it's Netflix. Seems weird to me. It's uh, watch on Netflix. Oh, but yeah. you know who's in it? Hey, Netflix, who's make our it? movie. J.K. You don't. Oh, fucking uh, Cassandra Peterson. Yep. AKA right. Elvira. Any um, sure. takebacks or uh, and apologies? Any epic slams? Dead uh, ringers. Dead. I had a dead ringer. I would like to give uh, flowers to Paramount Plus. Uh, good on them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, leave them wanting less. Oh, I had a dead ringer. I was watching a Pete <laughs> Davidson stand up in Friends, and there's this dude that came out that insane called Big Wet. And uh-huh. I was like, yeah, that's. that's Wait, me. didn't I send you guys a dead ringer of a guy who looks like me and Kyle fucked? <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That <laughs> was wild. That just came up, and I was like, this guy. Oh my god! Um, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it was like even our even our minds had fucked in that guy, right? It was like yeah. a tech dude. Oh yeah, you do kind of look like Big Wet, Kyle. If you see uh, Big Wet, <laughs> yeah, you look like Big Wet. Yeah, but you, I mean, you need to gain uh, like five five or six pounds. Yeah, five or six yeah. pounds. Six pounds. <laughs> yeah, well, give me till spring. I'm very yeah. depressed now that we're not making this. Give me till spring, man. And uh, well, I have a I have a candy critique. Um, freeze oh, good. dried, freeze dried Skittles, very delicious. If you can get your hands on freeze dried Skittles, they are freeze so dried. Good. How do you? Yeah, what does that even mean? Uh, and uh, can you explain more? What can you buy these, or you have to freeze dry them yourself? It's astronaut candy. You can uh, order them online, but basically, it's like they put uh, Skittles in a freeze dryer or whatever, and they expand. They like puff up, and they're very delicious. You got to try them. Put them in a freeze dryer or whatever. Or I don't whatever. know. Yeah. yeah, I don't know the process. I've never yeah. YouTubed it. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't make Skittles and then do something to them, right? Yes. No, they take Skittles. You pour it into a freeze dryer or something. What is a freeze they, dryer? I don't know. They make freeze dried Starburst, freeze dry. Real men of genius. Yeah, it's for astronauts. Astronauts, right? Are astronauts eating this or or climbers? So. You're eating food that was supposed to go to astronauts? I assume so, yeah. And it, and it's delicious. Or climbers. It's like astronauts are military or something. And it's delicious. So try them. So that's my candy critique. Thank you, Blake. Candy uh, we'll be critique. Looking into Is that. this a new segment brought to you by Hershey's and Mars? I mm-hmm. guess there are freeze dryer machines and you could just do it. All right. Hey, now we know. Yeah, All right. Thanks. And that was another oh. episode of <laughs> This. Is important. important. Good stuff today. Jerk.